Is your social media giving you nightmares? Are you unsure of what to put on social media? Or maybe you're scared of actually just sharing the wrong posts. Today, I'm going to be working through some of the social media nightmares that you can avoid and what you can do to actually grow your business online. So hi everyone, it's Leanne Cohen's here, digital success coach and the owner of the marketing agency, Marketing Leap. And my passion is to actually demystify digital marketing for business owners and entrepreneurs through videos like this and educational courses, training to give you back your marketing clarity and give you back confidence so you can actually use these practical marketing solutions and springboard your business to success. So the tips and the information that I share every week, I've actually been doing in my agency for years now. So I know that they work and I know they are really effective. And today we are discussing scary social media nightmares and how to avoid them to grow your business. So if you've ever done social media marketing, whether it's for your business or you might look after a couple of businesses, I'm sure you've got some terrifying stories that have kept you up at night and made you really want to just give it all away. So here are five relevant social media nightmares that have happened to me. It's happened in the agency and it's also happened to clients as well. And I'm going to give you some advice on how to prevent them. So the first nightmare is mistakes in your grammar and having ugly typos. Now, if you've spent ages crafting the ideal posts and putting information together that you think is going to garner the the kind of interaction that you're really looking for, only to discover that once it's gone live, there's a typo or there's an error, that can sometimes be absolutely devastating. So how do you avoid that? First thing you need to do is use an online proofreader like Grammarly or get someone to double check your scheduled posts. And that's something that we do. We always have a second pair of eyes on everything that goes out. Copy your text into Word if you're not using something like Grammarly and let Word do the grammatical checking. The second nightmare is actually scheduling errors. And we have been through so many different scheduling tools to find one that actually works seamlessly every single time. Um, But not just that, you know, having the images be changed on you, the link not working or not even being in the post or even scheduling your post on the wrong day or the wrong week is just the beginning of some of the errors and the nightmares that we've seen. So, you know, having automation for social media posts is fantastic, but it also makes it so much easier to make mistakes and to change things up. So while you've got the benefits of having automation and scheduling, there's also a huge amount of responsibility. So how do you avoid this? Make use of a content calendar. Check every link that you use and make sure it's embedded and still active. And pick a particular day of the week to double check your schedule posting. That five minutes could actually save you a huge amount of trouble. And don't just send out scheduled messages. There is so much going on in the world and everything is changing so rapidly. It's always a good idea to leave some space that you can focus on current events as well. So it just sort of keeps you up to date and it makes you look like you have got your finger on the pulse of what's going on. Now, the third nightmare is loss of control of your social media account. Now, this is something that um, has actually happened recently to clients because they didn't have two-factor authentication set up um, and they were hacked. Or it could be as simple as you might have forgotten your login information and of course you could have been blocked, you could have been hacked uh, quite often and one of the things that that, um, we spend a lot of time on with businesses is sorting out where an ex-employee has been working on an account and then they've left and nobody has any idea of where the logins and the information is and that ex-employee has all the control. So none of these are pleasant situations. So how do you actually avoid that? Well, first thing you do is to not give your access to other people in your account. Um, And if you have to, if you're using an agency, then use best practices. Now, Facebook has got business manager And there's a lot of different options out there as far as giving people access to your social media account, but you need to make sure that you still have control. You know what the passwords are and um, 
not only that, you can use a different password for every single site and make sure that you update it regularly. Use two-factor authentication that every single platform has this option now and it is essential because you get notified every time somebody else is logging into your account and if you know that it's you know your social media manager or whoever it is that you're working with that's fine but if it's not then you have a problem and you can deal with it straight away and then of course being very aware when it comes to your emails and and having different phishing apps and fraudulent apps that will sometimes get access to your accounts getting you to log in via Facebook or log in via Instagram. So being very aware of that is a great way of making sure that you keep control of your social media account. Now, the fourth one is posting from the wrong account. Now, there'd be nothing worse than a photo from a night out turning up on your business account. And you would, again, with all the changes that are going on, if you manage a number of accounts or have a number of pages, there is a good risk of that actually happening. And there's nothing worse than when you look at your screen and there's the silly video that you've made staring back at you from your company account. It's, and again, you know, if you're a personal brand, it's one thing to be open and vulnerable and, and to be building relationships. It's another thing, letting your clients and people that follow you know your deepest and darkest secrets. And of course, with the changes with um, Facebook pages and the, the new Facebook pages that they're rolling out, this is more likely to happen than any other time. So how do you avoid this? Make sure that you use a different profile image for every page or every account that you have, because that's the fastest way just to double check. Before you plan or you go to send a post, look for the logo. It's usually in the corner, whether you're on mobile or, or on desktop, they're in different places but make sure that that is the actual business account that you're posting into and then of course the fifth thing is to be prepared it's really easy to get into a panic mode if your brand is suddenly flooded with negative social media coverage now you know you might have had and i've um, heard of this recently where a, a client complained the business owner was unaware because the they had a staff member that just jumped on and handled it and then the client got really upset and started telling all of their friends. So, and the owner really had no idea of what was going on until it was too late. Now, negative feedback is gonna happen. It's just part and parcel of life and it's part and parcel of having a business. But no matter how big or small your business is, anyone that's associated with your brand needs to be aware of what they can and can't be saying. So you need to have a really clear set of response protocols for anybody that's working on the account and another good idea is to just keep an eye and monitor your mentions so you know when we're looking after someone's social media account that's one of the things that we track all the time is their online brand reputation and how they're being mentioned if there's any negative sentiment and um, you know using social media listening tools is a great way of just double checking how you are being perceived in the online space and of course you know, some final tricks that you can use. Make sure that you double check everything always. Set notifications so that when a post goes out, you're notified yourself. So if you have made a mistake, you can quickly jump in and you can fix it. Double check your hashtags and double check your mentions on socials as well so you can see what's going on. And don't forget your security settings. That's the most important thing. And again, you know, I've just recently on a Saturday night and then even late last night going in and sorting out a couple of accounts because the security settings weren't 100% for this particular client. They are now, but, um, you know, they had some suspicious activity going on. And then, of course, accept that shit happens. Everybody makes mistakes and you're no exception. So do your best to avoid these situations. But if it does happen, jump on it, admit your mistake, and then fix it as soon as you possibly can. So there you go. Those are the five scary social media nightmares and how to avoid them. Having mistakes in your grammar and ugly typos, having scheduling errors, having a loss of control of your social media account, whether it's uh, an ex-employee or a, a, a partner 
And then of course, the fourth thing is posting into the wrong account or posting onto the wrong page. And then the fifth thing, not preparing for negativity because life happens and you need to have a plan in place when it does. So 2023 is actually only weeks away. And you know, you hear this all the time from everybody. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And now is the time to get a strategic plan in place for the new year so you can hit the ground running and really just make 2023 your year for business success. So if you want to learn more about how I can help you plan that, um, now that we've, you know, at the tail end of the pandemic, um, I will be running some face-to-face -face workshops and um, VIP strategy sessions. So, you know, whether it is a strategy session, a planning day, or you'd really like to join the Digital Success Academy, comment below and um, we can have a bit of a chat and see how we can help you make the next 12 months the most successful yet. And then don't forget that through Marketing Leap, we offer a full range of done for you, realistic, practical marketing solutions for your business that actually work and will hit the spot with your customers. So, you know, everything that I do is actually designed to give you clarity, help you generate leads and stop drowning in the overwhelm. Now, next week at 12 o'clock, I'm going to be sharing email marketing secrets for 2023 and talk about what is actually working now to help you grow your business. In the meantime, guys, have an amazing week and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. If you want to grow your business online, but you're not too sure exactly how to get started or what to do, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every single time we upload a new training video. And if there is a video that you really enjoy, please share it with your friends so that um, you know, we can get the message out there and help as many people as possible.